Hey guys, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial, and today we'll be continuing our motion graphics series tutorials. So today we'll be doing text animations and the basics of how to animate individual letters in text layers. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new text layer, and type in anything you want, I'm just going to say geeky brackets. So let's select the text layer and center that in the center of the composition. So the first thing we're going to do is select the text layer, twirl down the brackets, and click animate. Here you'll see a bunch of properties that you can animate, such as scale, rotation, skew, opacity. So we'll be using a couple of these, but the first one we're going to be using is scale. So once we click on that button, we get a couple of options. Firstly, we get a new tab, and it says animator 1. Twirl that down, and we get range selector and a property, in this case, scale. So in range selector, you can see we've got a bunch of start and an offset. Now, if I make the scale zero, that means that this text layer is gonna start at zero in terms of the letters. If I increase this, you can see it actually scales up the letters individually, not the whole text layer. So if I drag this, the start layer, you can see it slowly goes to the end. If I drag the end layer um, from here, it goes from the back. And the offset is basically just to change like where it starts from and stuff like that. But we won't have to worry for this that for that tutorial. So we're gonna set a keyframe at the start and a couple of frames forward. We'll set another one at 100 percent that way, it will slowly increase, just like that. Now there's a bunch of options we can tweak around to enhance the look of this effect. So, go to your advanced properties, and we can go through the settings individually. So first of all, there's units, and we're going to be using percentages, but if you want, you could do index. Now what index is, is um, the amount of letters. So in this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 letters in geeky brackets. Which means at the very end, it'll be 13. If it's 12, it'll do 12 letters, and so on. But we're going to keep it at index, because it's a little more clearer. For based on, we can change that to anything that suits what you're trying to create. If it was words, it does everything at once. But we, we, we want it to be characters. If the the mode, if it subtracts, instead of adding on, it'll take off. So take it off, take it off, take it off, like so. And the amount, just, you can see, that's kind of like making it a bit more. Just ignore that, yeah. Make, just make that 100%. The shape, um, this actually, for this tutorial, we don't have to know it, but it's basically changing how the animation comes on. All right, now the now I've got three more options. We've got smoothness, ease high, and ease low. Now keep in mind that all of these options adjust the speed, the velocity of how these animations occur. So if we ram preview this, it's quite fast. In fact, I'm just going to move this that forward okay you can see it's quite standard linear motions so the ease high property if I make that 100% and then we ram preview this it's kind of hard to see because the letters are going so fast but basically what's happening is it's slowing it's really slow at the start and then it slowly increases if I make that 0% and I make is low 100% this will result in the exact opposite, where it will be really quick at the start and then slow down. Now if I make it ease high and ease slow 100%, then it will speed up, go really quickly and then s uh, slow down. So, once again it's kind of hard to see, but it looks, looks quite good in my opinion. So now we have randomized order, which basically if we turn that on, it does what it says, randomizes the order. 
Alright, I'm going to turn that off for now. Now we've got all the options, let's actually add more properties. So still in Animator 1, we'll click Add, Property, and Rotation. And you'll see how easy it is to add properties. So if I make the rotation, the base value, 90 degrees, and then I play it, just like that you can kind of see it's already got an animation working. If I add another property, let's make this opacity. I'm going to make the base value 0% so it slowly fades in. And then we watch it. It's really hard to see, however, it kind of fades in the very start. If we make the, um, the smoothness a little less, so make the ease high and ease low 0. And then we watch that. It's a little more obvious. let's make that back to 100% and honestly that's pretty much all there is to the basics of text animation now there's a couple more things that we can add for example we can add selectors and a couple more advanced properties however I'll cover that in the next tutorial so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one peace